Hey everybody, welcome back to The Basement. My name's Casey. Today we are doing some pixel art, making some assets for a game within a 16 by 16 sprite. This little treasure chest that kind of opens up like this. Kind of a three quarters, you know, not totally top down view, but this is more like, you know, an, an RPG kind of adventure game where you view it from the front, but you know, high in the air. Something like Zelda, Pokemon, that kind of thing. So let's start by making a new sprite. File new. And I'm gonna make this a 16 by 16 sprite. Zoom in here. And the first thing we got to figure out is what makes a treasure chest look like a treasure chest. So using five seconds of Google research, I came up with this little thing. So the kind of treasure chest I like that I'm going for has these kind of golden edges, has a lock in the middle and it has this rounded top. So we're gonna try and recreate that here in 16 by 16 pixels. So let's start out with a square. Just grab the square tool, the rectangle tool and draw our edges here. And if we're gonna be viewing this sort of from higher angle, we're gonna see a little bit of the front face and then a little bit of the top. So let's start out with maybe just below the center. So this will be the front and then this will be the top. I also like these little gold chunky things here. So maybe we could do something to kind of simulate those. So that's our front. And on the top here, these are gonna be a little bit brighter. So let's make this a little bit brighter like that and maybe we'll just move it a little bit towards orange just so it's a little different, maybe just a little wider, something like that. And I think what we'll do is make a double line here so that we have a clear distinction between the front and the top, and we'll have a little highlight here on the top. So imagine that this is kind of a rounded top. Let's also make the lock thing here, then maybe like that, get rid of the middle. And let's pick a nice brown to kind of go in between. Just hit G to fill this in. And now we're kind of getting somewhere, right? Let's add a highlight to this top because remember this is kind of a rounded top. So normally if this were a flat top, it would all be the same color, but we want to kind of give the illusion that this is rounded. So I think what we'll do is actually, let's go ahead and just darken this a little bit cooler, something like that. And let's add darkness here. This is gonna be color of this face and we'll do something like that. Actually, what we'll do is take away this top line and have that be a little bit darker. I'm also gonna take this same color and take the alpha down a little bit, take the transparency down and click here and we're making kind of a fade like this. And if we zoom out, yeah, that's definitely looking how we want. I think we want this highlight on the edges to match this highlight here. Maybe even, yeah, that's looking a little better. And now let's take kind of this brighter color and we'll kind of have a little drop shadow around this gold. And so in between here, it's gonna be a little brighter. Hit G and paint bucket that. And maybe even have just a little bit of texture here to remind us that this is wood. Something kind of like that, just to break it up. Maybe even break this up a little bit. Now if we zoom out, it kind of looks like it's this old wood. Just kind of break up that texture a little bit. We can do the same thing up here a little bit. If we don't go too crazy. Yeah, and that looks like it's kind of old and weathered. And now for the edges here, first of all, I think this is a little bit kind of green looking. So let's make this a little bit kind of orange. And I'll hit G and uncheck contiguous up here because I want to replace this entire color. And I'll just click on that, make that more of that kind of warmer golden color. And we want sort of a shade of this gold too. I'm gonna to make this a little more orange and desaturate it, bring it down a little bit. And now we have sort of a shade of this gold. Maybe let's try just the little edges there. Maybe even this bottom edge just to kind of give us a little bit of shading. Bring up our little preview so it's easy to see. And that looks pretty nice. I think we even maybe wanna bring these sides in a little more and maybe even just kind of play around with this. Cause this is like half shading and half just kind of stylizing things. So maybe add these little doohickeys here like that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Bring our shading back around here. Have a little bit smaller of a face right here. And that's looking pretty nice, I'd say. We can also kind of choose to maybe do something here in the middle. Maybe we'll fill that with this kind of thing, have a little shine. Yeah, it's looking like a nice little chest. All right, what if we want this thing open? I'll go up here and right click on where it says one and say new frame. And now we're just gonna delete the top of this here and keep this front face. And we'll imagine what it's like to look down into this box. So we would probably see the edge of the box. And let's say maybe it's like here. Yeah, that looks right. And then we'll have kind of treasure piled in right here. So let's maybe it's darker on that backside recheck contiguous and we'll have our treasure kind of piled up here 
There we go, there's our piles of gold. And then we'll have the top kind of swung open and it can kind of hang down a little bit. So we can actually just draw this within that same frame here. So let's grab our gold and let's kind of round this edge. So we're kind of looking at the underside of the lid when it swings up, swings open. And we'll do kind of the same thing. We'll darken this. Maybe we'll add a little kind of a border here just so it gives it a little bit of depth, maybe something like that. And then if this little lock is halfway on the lid and halfway up here, we could do something like maybe put this right here. So we have that continuity here and our eye can kind of trace that shape up and down. So yeah, does it look like it's opening? I think so. And now let's add a couple jewels here, right? A couple nice bright rubies, maybe some kind of pink gem or something, maybe a nice blue one. Now it looks like it's full of treasure. And we have our treasure chest closed and open. Now we can use it for our little adventure game. Pretty easy, right? Hey, if you stayed all the way to the end, do me a favor, click that like button. And if you missed it the other day, I posted a big long pixel art paint along right here. Paint some more assets for games. Check it out. I think it's quite good.